and stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll be considering the Hindu concept of Leela, and how qualities of play, humor, and surrender can enrich our daily lives. Let's begin by taking a comfortable seat on the floor, on a cushion, or in a chair. Gradually settle into stillness and let your eyes close. Soften the muscles behind the eyes and try to soften even the insides of your mouth. Then turn your attention to your breathing. Observe your breath moving in through your nostrils, down your throat, into your lungs, pausing, and then moving back out. Let's take three deep breaths together now. Begin with a deep inhale, hold it, and then an easy exhale. Another deep inhale, and a slower, longer exhale. One last deep inhale, and a long, cleansing exhale. Allow your breath to settle now, noticing that it may go through several changes before finding its new rhythm. Even when your breath has found a consistent pathway, no two breaths are ever fully the same. Continue to watch the intricacies of your breath closely for some time, and taking note of any nuances. Keep your attention focused on this present moment by watching the subtle changes in your breath for some time in silence. Tension has drifted off and gently bring it back to the breath. Notice that your breath has an effect on your body. Observe how the shape of your body rises up and expands on the inhale and softens and relaxes on the exhale. Continue to observe this for some more time in silence.
has drifted, bring it back to the movement of the breath, the movement of the body, the movement of the breath moving with the body. Many of us know the word Lila as a feminine name, meaning night beauty or some combination of the two. But it has other meanings as well. In the Hindu tradition, the word means divine play. And the implication of this is complex. On one hand, Lila can mean God's play, in sometimes joyous but sometimes frustrating or ironic manner. If you have ever had that feeling that God was playing a trick on you, this is what is meant by Leela. There are times when we try for something, only to find that the universe had something else in mind. We can laugh and surrender, saying, it's the play of the gods. In this tradition, going to see a play is also called Leela, meaning it is sometimes entertainment. If someone were to say to you, hey, Let's go to the Leela tonight. They would be referring to a public performance of something being acted out. This type of entertainment has value. We could all benefit from a refreshing break. But Leela is also used in the context of what is called the Rasa Leela, or the divine play of masculine and feminine energies. This refers to the push and pull of energies. Sometimes we move forward and our partner moves back. Sometimes we move back and our partner moves forward. Energy is always in the divine play and never stagnant. What can we learn from this one word having so many meanings? We can find humor. We laugh because in some way it is purposefully designed to confuse. We are meant to feel the complexities, the polarities, and the fact that all of it is basically out of our hands. You may feel a need to surrender to the divine play. We can put forth our efforts, but the results of these actions are not up to us. The more we can surrender to the events around us with humility, the more we have the chance to bring a sense of humor. Humor and playfulness can sometimes be one of the last needed pieces of the puzzle to uplift heal, and help all of us move forward. Just a little humor and playfulness can be the spoonful of sugar that helps the medicine go down. Come back into your body now. And try wiggling your fingers and toes. Then let them release. Take one last clearing breath in. Hold it and let it out. And allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.